Bop, bop, boop, bop, boop, bop, boop, bop, boop. <laughs> I bet that's what Arnold Schwarzenegger would say. <laughs> I mean, I doubt he'd ever... I mean, I don't think he'd ever play, like, a certain character like Papu Papu, though. Alright. Papu Papu. First boss time. <laughs> Body blows don't hurt him. Of course, we have to hit him on his head. Yeah. Oh, but they made the boss fight a bit longer. Uh-oh. So instead of it being three hit points, they made him five hit points. Ah-ah, whoa. Alright, one more. Come on, big boy. I think, the, I think he's spinning his club a bit faster, too. Whoa! He missed me! Oh, but I hit him! Flawless victory! <laughs> what an exit! <laughs> Just jump on his belly, and a uh, trophy Papu popped. I don't know why he didn't do that. Yee That's what I was definitely anticipating. But oh well. Took care of Papu Papu. Wonder what that uh, little space down there is. Uh, I know that's Rolling Stones, but what's that? Ah, Coco's Time Machine. Oh, so uh, this uh, I guess this is the point to where we can actually play as Coco. Do you want her to join your adventure? Ah! So I guess that's the point to where we can play as Coco. Okay. Alright. But I'll go and uh, maybe wait a little later till we play as Coco. Next up, Rolling Stones. Just like, a, just like the name of a certain band. <laughs> I mean, of course, we can't get the gem here because we got we need the blue gem from Toxic Waste. It just seems that this game is a lot easier. I mean, of course, it's a lot easier than the original. Uh, we got all those boxes in a single a single time just by spinning that that Venus flytrap into it. All right. Uh, yeah, and this is the first uh, level with the Brio bonus stage. I want to go and get the Brio bonus stage. I want to make sure I get that Aku Aku crate, so I... Alright, get it! Oh, good, it still counts. <laughs> ah, but then again, I don't want to blow those up, because one of them is a Brio head. I'll wait this out. I don't want to accidentally uh, blow up the nearest TNT. Now, granted, I can't be sure... I'm not sure if you're uh, still able to grab the... Brio head despite doing that, but I don't want to test that out. I want to go ahead and do that. I want to go ahead and grab the Brio head. There it is. And the life, just for the heck of it. Alright, get out of there! Do-do-do-do. <laughs> So yeah, we'll be able to do two bonus stages this time around. Uh, whoa, baby. Let's find out if the Brio bonus stages actually count towards the box total. Ah, <laughs> that's a bit weird right there. Ah, don't want to drop down. Okay, ton of bonus stage. Oh, get in there. There you go. Aw, oh, really? I didn't collect the life. Oh well, at least I can jump over that. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I can do all that in a single chain. But no, I didn't grab the life.
Ah, oh, 87 boxes? Yeah, I think uh, the Brio bonus stages actually do count. I think all bonus stages actually count toward the box total. Uh, uh, I hate that part. I always hated that part in the original. Alright, Brio bonus stage. Yeah, it's a bit weird that they actually put the Brio bonus stage right here. Oh, gotta go, gotta go! Ah, go, go away! Ah, forget about those other boxes. Forget about them. Jump! Yeah, make like David Copperfield and disappear, baby! Yeah, so the... Looks like all bonus stages count toward the box total. It's pretty strange on how they placed it uh, right there in that location. Okay, so he can't get the gem here. Next up is Hogwild. Which has also happened to have been the name of a former WCW pay-per-view, Hogwild. <laughs> There's a lot of references that I can definitely think up. Alright, Hog Wild. Alright. First level, Riding the Hog. I didn't do that for multiple times, though. Uh, but I always did love this soundtrack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, ah! I almost got hit by those spikes there. The hot controls actually kind of feel a bit strange! Ah, there's my first death. First official death. Oh, boy. Well, let's find out if it... Uh, again! The hot controls feel pretty weird in this game compared to the original. Feels pretty weird. Ah, again! Three times! <laughs> I landed right on the pillar. Alright, you got it. Alright, I guess I have to get on the... I am making so many easy mistakes. Get around him! Alright, good. Finally. These controls are pretty weird. Oh, come on! I'm, just, I'm, I'm having to try to make sure I get all these boxes without actually hitting them. But like I said, it's a bit... Oh, come on! This is embarrassing already. Come on. Get past him! That's just way too close right there. It still seems like I'm going to actually hit him, despite the fact. That... But hey, it's <laughs> it's still worth seeing the death animations. That's 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 pretty funny. I mean, but look at that! I barely make it around him. It's like I have to try and get at the boss the box at the very last second. Ah. Come on! Or can I jump over them? Can I actually jump over them? I doubt it. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> no wonder. I can actually jump over them. Oh, not that one! Good grief! This is ridiculous. I can... Oh yeah, now it decides to... Not get around him. Good grief, man. What the heck is going on here? I barely make it past him. What is the deal here? Okay, there we go. I'm just these these hog the hog controls are pretty weird compared to the original. It's weird. Uh huh. Oh, those hogs on the uh, little poles right there. I hate those things. What? <laughs> good, 
Good grief, I'm dying so many times! Then, get away! This is getting ridiculous already. I do love the sound of this soundtrack, though. It sounds pretty darn good. Jump over- OH COME ON, CRASH! JUMP OVER HIM! Jump over it, I should say. <laughs> I'm sorry, these these controls are pretty weird. Get over. Well, I clearly jumped over him. I clearly jumped over that. You gotta be kidding me. This is getting embarrassing. I clearly jumped over it. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. We actually still can get the gem despite the fact that we died. Okay, so that theory is confirmed. Okay, good. That theory is confirmed. We can still get the gem despite the fact of dying after breaking a checkpoint. Ah, that was stupid. Oh boy, that was embarrassing. But then again, those uh, those controls kind of took a bit to get used to. That's really weird compared to the original. All right, next up, Native Fortress. Heh. <laughs> Want old school controls? Try the directional buttons. <laughs> I wonder if that actually affects any. Well, I don't think that really affects anything. I mean, but having said that and experiencing those controls, whole hog is going to be a bit of a problem itself. Uh, get up there. Uh, get out of here. I mean, but still, at least we can... Okay! I thought I cleared that. Still, I need to get get those lives back. That was a bit too ridiculous right there. Okay, clear it this time. Good. So, I mean, at least this game won't be as difficult as the first one. Uh, well, well, the original. I need to... I need to... Refer to it as the original. I mean, but geez, those, uh, okay. Anyways, I was about to say, those hog controls are pretty weird. And it just seems like those other stuff that happened to me was, you know, just stupid. Because it just looked like I clearly jumped over the hog, but the game's like, nah, you're gonna go ahead and die anyway. I mean, that's what exactly what happened to me in the original. Come on! Good grief. But then again, that like I said, that's stuff happened like that to me sometimes in the original. Okay, there we go. Oh, I was I died on this jump. Ah, there we go. does it? Alright. Dee 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 dee. Oh! Come on! Ah, uh, this is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm dying so easily. I mean, but still, at least I've confirmed my little theory. I mean, I tried to not... I didn't really keep up with, in terms of updates, 
for like additional like oh as I was about to say I didn't keep up with like the uh, like news regarding this this trilogy I mean all I saw were screenshots but I tried to not really spoil to get uh, spoiled too much for this uh, easy easy good I didn't, I didn't want to get too spoiled for this. Ah, get out! Ah. Still, I can't believe I was dying of it too much. I mean, at least I'll be able to get a couple more additional lives back. Okay, so up, 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 up we go. Ah, up. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> He actually does that little face plant whenever you fall from a very big drop. He's, he does that face plant. I think I actually saw something that they're actually going to... Oh, come on! Good grief! I think I saw something about them uh, putting Stormy Descent on here. That would actually be a pretty good idea. I mean, considering the fact it was at an unused level in the first game, uh, for the uh, original, I should say. Oh, come on! And hey, you can even jump around that without the uh, bounty crate. In the original, they didn't use Stormy Ascent as an official level. Ah, ah, ah! Man, I got stuck on that. Good, why am I dying so easily? Ah. And I just love seeing the uh, other islands and the the other other two islands in the background. It's still a very nice touch to this level. Uh, go, 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 go! Go on! Ah, oh, man. Oh, boy. Here we go again. More easy deaths. I mean, it just feels kind of unusual compared to the original. Pretty unusual getting caught up on that again! My goodness, what is going on here? I'm just trying to be careful I don't accidentally... Uh, I don't accidentally fall without jumping. Okay, there we go. Okay, up, go, 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 go. Oh, good, made it. Woo! Oh, wait until we... Where it goes down, go! And go! Go, baby, go, baby, go! Oh, can I make it? Ah, oh, that was too close. I think that's an extra box that they added right there. Uh, uh, uh. Because I know for a fact that that was not two boxes on top of each other in the original. I know there's a life back here. Go and grab that. Oh, of course, I wasted it. Good grief. How oh, can I make that? Oh! That did not even touch me. Okay. 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 I'm going to have to really start showing some patience in this game for once. I have to be patient. All right, go, baby. Oh, good. That after flame didn't hit. 
didn't get me. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, this this uh, remastered version kind of feels weird compared to the original. <gasps> ah, man! Those torches are kind of weird to anticipate. I'm trying. I'm just trying to make sure that tiniest speck of flame doesn't actually get me. All right. Come on. I'm already wasting a lot of lives because of this. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Come on. I almost touched one of those spikes there. I'm way too uh, careful of that uh, of that torch. I'm way too careful of it. Come on! I... Why am I struggling on this? I shouldn't be. Uh, I should not be struggling with this. Come on. Get it. Ah, oh, man. Come on already! Are you kidding me? It just seems like I'm actually going to land on the torch, but then it's like, no. You're not going to land on it. The game's being a bit rude to me. I mean, of course, that was sarcasm, but still, it's just... Trying to get used to this remaster version is probably going to take a little while. It's going to take a little while. Yeah, come on already! For goodness sakes! I need to kind of figure out how that torch works. Like, when's a good time to actually jump, jump on the torch? It makes me think that the tiniest speck of flame that remains after coming out of it is going to hit me. It always makes me think that. And the jumping is pretty weird, too. Not to say the least. I mean, because you could easily clear these jumps in the original. Okay, finally we made it! Goodness gracious! It just feels different compared to the original. Like I said, it feels different. Oh, but finally we made it. At least we don't have to worry about dying. About the whole dying after breaking a checkpoint. At least. Ah, good grief. Get uh, and grab that life. And they added the platform so you can get the crate. How nice. Uh, the, the gem, anyway. How nice. <laughs> that animation is just way too silly. All right, now we'll be able to go into the second island. Up the creek. Oh, they actually changed the direction of the island. Because in the original, it goes to the left. But it looked like it went to the right this time. Yeah, it looks like it's going to the right of the island. 
All right. Now we're going to go up the creek. Like I said, the remaster, this remaster, feels a bit different. It feels pretty different compared to the original. Get out of here. Whoa. Ah, uh ah, -uh, whoa, I almost died there. Hoping I don't die too much this time around. Because I like to keep my lives and not really make it too embarrassing. So there's that blue fly trap. Maybe a little piranha. Get out of here. And that's where we can uh, actually get the other boxes. So, I'm, of course, I'm going to have to wait for these lily pads to come back up. I want to make sure that they all come back up. And I think that's plenty of time. And I'm, I need to get a certain height to where I can actually be able to touch these boxes. Alright, so we got those. Because sometimes if you were to jump, them, jump on those lily pads from, say, the very top of that log, the game will be just like, oh, you'll go through the lily pads and end up dying. I didn't want that to happen to me in this time. Did not want that to happen to me this time. I mean, I know I can spin into those piranhas, but I like to still kind of play it safe. Alright, so there's the last Tana head token. Alright, Tana bonus round. Whoa. So I got those, good. Yeah. Alright, so we got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. I mean, but still, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, so far. I mean, I probably, I mean, no doubt in my mind I will enjoy it. It's just, uh, the problem with me right now is I'm trying to get used to it. The feel for it is a bit different, like the jumping is kind of weird in this. And those hog controls are a bit weird too. Just trying to get a feel for it. Alright, so there's our gem. So hopefully, whenever we return to some of these levels to get the gems and whatnot, hopefully we won't have that much of a problem. Alright. Four gems. I think I may as well go ahead and... Uh, well, since we're about to face off against the second boss, Ripper Roo. I was going to say I was going to go ahead and save it again, but then again, there's a auto save. Yeah, the island goes to the right, not to the left, like it did in the original. Ripper Roo. I know exactly how to defeat Ripper Roo. We have to time the TNTs to explode on the platform he lands on. Uh, it looks like it's three uh, hit points this time. I guess it's because of the Papa Papu boss was a bit too easy. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Crash break dancing. That's amazing. Take it, Ripperoo. 
Let's time another one. Can we get it? Ah, no we don't. I uh, probably ain't gonna get that one. It's a bit too late. Oh, but... Oh, good, I avoided that. Gotta kind of time it just right. Get him with this one. Really? That did not get him? Get him! Ah, rats. Oh, and I died? Good grief! Alright, come on. Just trying to get a feel for this. It's a bit weird. But I think I'll get it. No, I know I'll get it. Get him! Ah, man, I missed. Got him! Can I get him again? Yes, sir! Oh, which way is he going? Ah, I missed. Okay, so he's gonna go in that pattern. The diamond pattern. Uh, I'm not gonna get him. Oh, the TNTs go away. Get out of here. Don't you go anywhere. Got him! Ah, uh, there's no yeehaw. I guess that's how it is. In this trilogy, there's no yeehaw after defeating the boss. I mean, except you get a funny animation. <laughs> that was pretty silly of Ripper going down the waterfall. Yeah, but I think the funny animation is pretty good. <laughs>